I'm Robert with Nomium, and this short video will walk you through the Mhm app, spelled M-M-H-M-M. -M -M. Here's their logo in case you see that online. This app is one of our favorite virtual camera and facilitation apps. It does a lot with virtual backgrounds. If you want to stop screen sharing and present your content behind you, this is a great tool to use. Now, I'm on a newer Mac version that is currently under beta testing. They have a Mac version that's not under beta, so there may be some things in your version if you download it that look different than mine, that's okay. There's also a Windows version. There's also a free version. I'm using the paid version, but let me show you some of the basics. One of the first things that you'll notice on the top right is the microphone option, and of course you can choose whatever microphone you have in your system. You can also adjust the level and you can monitor your input level. Like any other virtual uh, camera app, you can choose which external webcam or which camera you want to use. And even if you have another virtual camera app, you can feed that into mm -hmm, uh, which gets into some weird effects sometimes. Also under camera, you can choose to zoom in and out, but I'm going to need to show you a better way to do that. And you also have the option for a green screen. Now I am using a green screen behind me. I didn't have it chosen yet. Uh, and you can choose the level of darkness and as well as the color options. But instead of adjusting that, I'm just gonna choose no green screen and it still looks good enough. Now, what you see behind me is an image that I've loaded. Now this is over here in the admin view. This is not where we're going to upload our slides. I'll get to that in a moment. These are just the default backgrounds. Now I can upload a slide here. I could choose, for example, to put a slide that says Robert's offline. If I want my participants to see that if I'm actually gone or I've walked away uh, from my computer, I like to just put images behind me that I've taken. It makes a nice conversation uh, opportunity sometimes, but there are some of these that do come with the mm -hmm app and they even come with some slower moving video ones. I'm just going to go to my default uh, hiking pictures. Now, let's take a look first at adding virtual backgrounds behind us. If you've taken a PowerPoint or Keynote on Mac and you've exported those to images or really any image file you have, you can choose to just drag those over. Now you can see in my admin view the three different slides that I've loaded and you can see that I am on the first slide here and I can click whatever slide I want or if I'm doing a lot of eye contact with that webcam I can use the uh, right and left arrows to navigate. The other thing I can do is I can turn those slides off anytime. Now you can see in my admin view I could go to that next slide and my participants don't know that. They can't see what's outside of my video box. So anytime I turn those back on, it's at that next slide. Or again, I can navigate those anytime that I want. I can put those over my shoulder too uh, if, if I want to and I can move myself around, which we'll get to that in just a moment. Now, images are not the only thing that I can show on the mm -hmm app. It has an ability to upload a PDF file or a Keynote file. I'm not going to show that to you right now because two reasons. It takes a moment to load. Loading images is immediate, but loading a PowerPoint or Keynote file does take some time. Also, second, this is the beta version. I don't think they have the bugs quite worked out yet because it's not working uh, perfectly for me. But here's one of the things I really, really like. If I go to Screens and Devices, I can choose this Mac and it's going to show me any open application I have. Let's go, for example, to numbers. This is, this is Mac. It's like an Excel file. What you see behind me is the app that I have open on my screen. So anytime I'm discussing the budget, I can add any numbers. I could ask my team members, uh, you know, how much money is in the budget? And they're reading me out numbers and I'm typing them and they can verify, yeah, in real time, that's what's happening. If I want to zoom in and zoom out, I'm doing that in the numbers app. I don't have to use uh, the mm -hmm controls. I just use the app like I'm used to. And I can also choose to uh, upload other types of GIFs, other types of videos. I can choose to add text boxes. So 
on the fly, let's say we need a break, 10 minute break, and I can say return at 9.30 and boom, that's going to be there anytime. And I can make those in advance. I can go to my other slides and at any moment I can bring those back. I can also move those around if I need to reposition anything. Once I have them loaded, I can reposition where those apps and where those images are. Sound good? Hopefully it looks good. Now, that's just presenting behind us. Let's go over here to this upper right. Let's go to the presenter tab. And I didn't show you that yet because I didn't want you to start looking at it too early. But now that we're ready for it, let's just walk through them. If I'm away, I can upload an image that says I'm away or I can use their default will be right back. Easy. The pointer is great because it works as a laser pointer. And if I hold the mouse button down, there we go. I can keep that on the screen as long as I want. Then I can raise up the mouse button and it goes away. It returns to laser pointer. I just have to remember to turn that off uh, if I don't want it to be a laser pointer anymore. Also, the laser pointer allows me to uh, use some different colors and, and other uh, options. Here's where we get into the really good stuff. Let's say that I do have some content behind me and I do want people to see it. Well, I've got a couple of options. I can make myself completely invisible or I can make myself halfway invisible and they can still see behind me, but I can still stay on the screen to have that visual focus with my participants. Another thing I can do, I can change the size of my video and I can move that around anywhere I want. So if I say, you know what, I'm gonna work on the right side of the screen for a bit, uh, I can also drag here uh, and, it, and it just becomes very useful. I'm gonna put myself back here. I can also choose to anchor myself in different areas. So if I do make myself smaller, I can use these different anchors anytime I want. What else can we do? We can choose a different frame. If I don't want to use the uh, perfect cutout of my shape. I can go into uh, circle mode, which shows my real green screen background. I can make that smaller. I can move that around. I can also use these other controls with that. But I like to have my full frame on there because I like to look like a normal human. There are some other visual effects I personally don't use a lot, but hey, if they're fun, they're fun. If they create visual engagement, engagement they in uh, create visual engagement. Uh, this one's kind of cool. I'm black and white, but notice the colors in the background. They're still there. That's, I like that one. One of them I like to use for timing. Let's say that somebody has five minutes in the meeting. I'm going to make myself green until they get to that fourth minute and I can change it to red. I don't have to interrupt them. This is a visual cue that lets them know you're down to a minute. And then eventually maybe I will interrupt them but I can turn those off. Uh, the other thing we have is big hands. Big hands can be uh, interesting because again, visual engagement, thumbs up, thumbs up, big hands. I just have to remember to turn that off if I don't want those cartoons to come up, but there are uh, quite a few of these uh, that I can do. And everything that you've seen me do, at least in the video box where my image is, that can be a video as well. There is some uh, editing software and there is some recording software. We're not even trying to look at that. Two other things to note before we go. Let me go back to my uh, hiking adventure here. In the top left, you'll see presentations. Let's say that these slides and these images and these inputs with the, the numbers and the text that I have, I want to keep. I can save these as a file and then I can go to a writing program and I've uploaded those images and those slides and that content, I can save that. So eventually I don't have to upload any of my slide decks anymore. They're already there, they're already in order and I just open them up through the mm -hmm app, that's quite useful. The other thing you'll see at the top left is Copilot. If somebody else anywhere in the world has the mm -hmm app, I can send them my Copilot link and it gives them direct access to control my administrative screen that you're seeing now. 
This is super useful if I'm focused on my webcam, if I'm focused on my participants, and I don't want to navigate these controls that you're seeing in the mm -hmm app. Somebody else from any location can. We've used this before during hybrid training. If there's a facilitator in the front of the room talking to the physical participants and they're monitoring the virtual participants, that's a lot to, to, to monitor. Hybrid's difficult. They don't have to control the mm -hmm app to show their slides anymore because the co-pilot can, giving them more attention on the participants. There are, again, things that we haven't looked at uh, that are worth exploring, especially if you get the paid version. If you have any questions, please reach out and we're happy to help.